welcome to RC Racing TV. In this episode, we're in sunny Spain for the EFRA 110th ISTC European Championship Finals. And if you're not sure what that means, well, we're talking 110th scale, four-wheel drive, electric radio-controlled vehicles racing for glory. And if you're still not sure what that means, we'll be taking a look at the Maverick Strada range from HPI, racing for fun. But first, over to John Hindoff to meet the contenders. Brought to you by Infinity and Montec, here is the EFRA Electric Touring Car European Championship final grid as ever. It's the best of three runs, should we need them. Ronald Volker is top qualifier on his Yorkamore. It's X-Ray in second place in the shape of Bruno Coelho. Mark Reinhardt from Germany off three in the brand new Infinity chassis. Then Alex Hagberg in four. Viljami Kudvonen in five. Victor Vilk six. Elliot Harper seven. Eight, David Perez. 9, Thomas Vigneron, and 10, Loic Jasmine. Difficult conditions for this first of potentially three finals. We've just had a downpour, and that sort of cleaned the track off a little bit. Let's see how the guys deal with it. How much will the conditions affect this final? Will the pull man get away? That's the thing that Ronald Volker wanted to do. Reinhardt immediately into second place on that brand new... Infinity chassis, he's gone by, Coelho in third, oh and the leader makes a mistake, now was that a mistake or was that conditions, hard to say from this distance, they were doing 76 miles an hour down that back straight earlier on, I don't think they're quite that quick at the moment, that shower has just made the track a little greener than we expected for this final, and the guys are having to deal with it, there hasn't really been a lot of time to make any major changes, so here is the battle for second and third. Quillo with the white body. And Volker behind him will be ruining that mistake. Careful on those curbs. You can use some of them. But they do bite if you go too far to the inside. The red and white bits, the stripey bits are not too bad. But if you go too far, the insides can grab you and flick you over. Look at Reinhardt. Reinhardt's gone. Reinhardt has disappeared and we've seen Mark when he's in this mood is very difficult to beat indeed another problem there that's the pole man Volker Ronald Volker from Germany losing positions oh huge slack well he's got eight out of ten for the drift but dropped three positions and that was all because he got off the racing line and into the grey and as soon as you're out there particularly now that the track has greened up a little bit. There's just no grip. Perfect example of that from our top qualifier. There goes Reinhardt leading. Second now, Coelho on the white car. That's Alex Hagberg, green. In third place, Katoven in the blue. And proudly carrying the finished colours there. And just dropping away a little bit. Alexander Hagberg in his traditional white and green colour scheme. That looks a handful. Looks like he's getting a bit of push around some of the slow corners. A bit of understeer. Oh, and he goes on to the lighter part of the circuit where we haven't been running. What is that going to do to the tyres? Lap times just picking up a little bit, but not where we have been all week. That change of conditions has really thrown a spanner in the works here because there was really no time to make big adjustments after that shower. So the drivers are just having to deal with it. I suspect nobody has got a perfect car right now, so we're really seeing the driving talents. Hagberg still battling. And Katoven right behind him. Joining in behind that, is that our pole man coming back? No, that's Elliot Harper coming back. Still got our leader, the German, Mark Reinhardt, out in the lead. But he's a long, long, long way ahead of this battle for third position. Quillo, the white car, just disappearing out the right-hand side of the picture. There he is. I think these two are just starting to catch him. Yes, that's borne out by the timing screens. Well, not getting the big top speeds that we were earlier on, but still it's the better part of... 70 miles an hour, that's about 110, 115 kilometres an hour, isn't it? And that's real speed, not scale speed, by the way. 
instant torque, instant acceleration from these electric touring cars. All-wheel drive, of course. And even in these tricky conditions, these drivers able to exploit that instant power to the wheels, instant torque. There is um, there is uh, Quillo in second position. Looks smooth enough, doing what he needs to do. Remember, it's not all about winning this first heat, although that would give you an advantage. It is your best two of three scores. The higher you are, the fewer points you score, and the fewest points then wins. It's like golf, but at 70 miles an hour and round something a little more twisty than your average golf course. Oh, and by the way, you're having to hit the ball from between 10 and 40 metres away. There's our leader, Mark Reinhardt. This brand new Infinity chassis being debuted at this meeting. Coverage brought to you by Montec and Infinity this weekend. What a week of racing it has been. Mark Reinhardt very happy indeed with the new Infinity product. And making the best of its handling capabilities now as he is driving away from the field. Cheeky little manoeuvre early on to get the lead. And has won it. Won it in style. And he was not challenged at all there. A disastrous first heat for our top qualifier, Ronald Volker, who actually pulled the car in after the mistakes we saw. He dropped well out of the battle and doesn't get the full trip. Third for Alexander Hagberg, second for Bruno Coelho, but a very, very impressive win for Mark Reinhardt. Let's have a word with the leg one winner. Well, well, well. Life in the old dog yet? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Uh, I just talked to Ronald, he was on the uh, old tyre, so... But the summer car felt good. I think we were smart just to put the car on the grid because I saw before the first lap on these conditions now is a lot better when you don't make a practice lap. So I could pass him already in the first two laps and... Uh, oh, in the first lap. So yeah, it was a good start and now I have two more sets of tyres and uh, let's see if I, can, if I can do it again. So how, by the end of the, the, uh, the heat, how close was the grip level to what we were seeing yesterday? I guess it was still a bit off, but not as bad as it looked in the first mains I saw after the rain. But uh, I guess it gets maybe a little bit better, but the wind also kicks in again. So, yeah, let's see how it's going to be for the next one. One down, two races to go, and it's still all to play for. But first, let's take a look at a few of the RC vehicles from the Maverick Strada range. Ronald Volga off the start, gets the whole shot, and he really needs to stamp his authority here. Terrible finish in the first leg when he was on top qualifying pole position, and he's got quality behind him. I don't think he's going to get away with that kind of heat again. In fact, he's not. He's really got to be first or second here to be in with any chance of the championship. The EFRA Electric Touring Car European Championship 2017 brought to you by Infinity and Montec, and the leader is the top qualifier, and Volker has indeed pulled away from Coelho in second with that 
white bodywork. Extremely versatile driver. On road, off road. Bruno can do it all. Is he the RC equivalent of someone like, say, Vic Elford going back through the years? He drove everything from rallying through sports cars up to Formula One. You just don't see that nowadays in full scale racing. Bruno Coelho is bringing it back to RC. A real talent. Holding second at the moment, the Portuguese driver on the X ray. Third for Mark Reinhardt. Mark for Infinity. Not able to make his move early on as he did in the first leg. And he's dropping away from Coelho in second at the moment. Now, don't forget, there's a limited amount of tyres that can be used. So some of these drivers might be recycling tyres and holding a brand new set for the final leg. It's a dangerous game, particularly if you need the result. You've really, I think, got to burn a good set in this one. I'm sure Volker will be on a brand new set of tyres after the nightmare, presuming, of course, he had a set left. So he goes. Quillo just beginning to chase him down. Alexander Hagberg, green and white, fourth position. It's all fairly standard at the moment. And I say that and hold my breath. Someone to press the bonkers button and it all to kick off. The track was very, very slippery in that first leg. Speaking to the drivers, they were surprised that it looked so dry but still felt, in terms of driving, slippery. It's dried off a little more now and it would seem that the racing line has come back. The lap times are a little bit quicker. Trap speed's picking up again. Down the back straight. Volker, reigning European champion, won the World Championship at this scale in China last year. And second in China, the man who's second now, Bruno Coelho. That white bodywork. Coelho. Been probably, I think, our most featured driver this year on RC Racing, mainly because he has done so many different disciplines. Putting all of his skills to the test here. It's a good run by Bruno Coelho in second. But Ronald Volker with the Nicomo leading him out. Nice lines through the final corner. Bruno taking a little more curb there and just having to moderate the throttle as he came onto the start finish straight. Down the back straight now, V Max. And then holding it in tight. Great left hander, that, isn't it? And the car's having to work really hard. Oh, and Bruno getting offline. And the moment that you get offline, look at how little grip there is. So offline, still a bit of a problem. And is Bruno losing grip? And maybe he is recycling an older set of tyres because the car is starting to move around a bit more. Let's see him here through the hairpin. Well, that was neater. There's Reinhardt in third with the purple livery. Reinhardt has not been a factor here. Got to think that he's on all the tyres. Strategy on tyres, so important in these three leg finals. But Reinhardt, remember, with a win to his name already. Volker dead last in the first heat. First leg. And he looks pretty contained there, doesn't he? Maybe just piercing himself here. He's got a huge lead now. Back to Quirlo. This is the line. Starts what I think will be the last lap. And bar barring a mistake, this is a return to top quality and to form for Ronald Volker. Yes, he's got it. He's got it. Crosses the line now and wins the second leg from Bruno Quillo. That's two seconds for the Portuguese. And it's going to be a win and a third for Mark Reinhardt, who comes home in that third position. Let's go to the winner of leg two. Here's Ronald Volker. Well, Ronald, that was the complete opposite of the first leg, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. The car felt the same as yesterday. I mean, um, I was on all tyres and I won. And uh, we adapted a little bit of setup to the conditions, but obviously it was only one.
And now uh, the feeling was the same as yesterday. Um, in the middle of the run, Bruno came a little bit closer. But still, I tried um, to make a good five minute run in case um, uh, it comes down to, um, to, the, to the whole five minute run. Uh, but I just tried to, name, uh, to win the next one. And we're off in the third and final, the deciding leg. Oh, and Coelho already makes a mistake, trying to confuse me by coming out with his orange body in, in the decider. Through goes Reinhardt. Paulman Volker has got away and got a handy lead there already. Our Infinity and Montec coverage of this final. Now, before the hooter went off, Mark Reinhardt was in the best position, although he was on the same point score as Bruno Coelho, with whom he is fighting for second position at the moment. He has a first and a third, and a first and a third is better than two seconds, even though the points add up. Ronald Volker has a first and a last. He is the Alpha and Omega, but he is in the lead at the moment. So as of right now, he's the European champion, as long as he can stay out front. Do you follow? Good. We'll be asking questions later. This is the battle for second on the track. Both of these drivers potentially could still win, but it would need a disaster and a worse than third place finish from the man who's leading at the moment. Reinhardt with the purple and blue. Here he comes in front of the driver's stand. Bruno Coelho. Oh, this is great driving by the Portuguese. Looks down the inside. Almost had enough room on the curb there, but didn't have the grip. The track now back up to full speed and does do it. Oh, that's extraordinary stuff. And this is why drivers tell me that Bruno Coelho is one of the hardest men to race against and one of the worst guys to have behind you. He finds gaps that just aren't there. Really popular driver. Haven't really found anyone who says a bad word about him. Popular driver, popular in the paddock. And really versatile. And now he has to set off in pursuit of our leader. Two second places to his name at the moment. Needs a win if he is going to have a chance of this Efra Electric Touring Car European Championship. Our coverage brought to you thanks to Infinity and Montec. Infinity driver, Reinhard in third position at the moment and he's dropped back into the clutches of Hagberg and Hagberg. Well, Reinhardt's just not quick at the end of the long straight, is he? He's not been able to commit to that fast couple of left-handers. Now, has he made changes? Or is this just the track effectively rubbering back up again and not suiting the setup that the German has? Look at how much the green car closes in there. Might be that Mark just hasn't got the front-end grip that he wants, the bite. He is a driver that likes it quite on the nose, which means he likes the car to turn in, doesn't like it to be drifting out, likes to get it positively into the corners. Does sometimes make the back step out, but he's got such great reflexes he can catch that. And at the moment, he's slow to the apex. No doubt in my mind, there's a front end issue there, just maybe a little imbalance. And Hagberg making the most of it. Hasn't turned it into a passing opportunity and won't do if he makes mistakes like that. And all of a sudden, a bit of breathing space. There's the gap between first and second going across the line. Reinhardt now maybe can stop having to defend and set about closing the gap between himself and Bruno Coelho, who's up the road on the extra ahead of him. There's Coelho with the orange and white this time. Was in all white for the earlier two legs. Not closing the leader down, is he? He's not closing down. The Yakomo of Ronald Volker. The German is doing what he has to do. What a comeback this would be if Volker can take this after a disastrous first leg of the final. Multiple off-track incidents after he went wide at that hairpin. And he just lost, same lost momentum, lost the will to fight. But he's come back very strongly indeed in legs two and now in leg three as well. That was where he made mistake in leg one. Maybe a little conservative there getting to the inside, but you can understand that having lost the 
first leg effectively at that corner when he went wide and had a drift for probably a couple of seconds. Lovely to watch. On to the last lap now for Germany and for Ronald Volker. And he is cruising to an extraordinary comeback. Finished the first leg last, and it's two wins in the next two legs. Ronald Volker will take the EFRA Electric Touring Car European Championship on RCTV with Infinity and Montec. The car was right on point for A2, A3. Um, I struggled on, on uh, Thursday with the balance, but uh, Umino um, changed the setup. It was perfect on Friday, it was perfect uh, A2, A3. And I couldn't thank him more. Um, also, uh, LRP motor, X22, it was awesome and um, everything turned out perfect. And in A3, after um, the, f the second and third lap, uh, I just tried to keep the car on the track. The car was very good. I just tried to, tried to uh, keep it uh, off the track. How worried were you after the disaster of the first leg? Um, actually, not too much because um, I was on all tyres and uh, I knew the track was going to be a uh, crap in A1. And um, at the World Championship was similar. The track uh, turned bad in A3 and we decided to choose old, old tyres. So I thought, let's uh, give it a try at all tyres for A1. Confirmation then of the results in the EFRA Electric Touring Car European Championship brought to you by Infinity and Montec. Ronald Volker is our champion, ahead of Mark Reinhardt in second, Bruno Quirlo, third position. Alex Hagberg is the unlucky man first off the podium. Well, there are even more vehicles like the one Royal Races in the Maverick Strada range. Let's take a look. Well, that's all we've got time for, but don't forget to check us out at www.rcracing.tv for more Radio Control action, both live and in the archive. See you next time.